Hey guys, I'm Dr. Shah. In this quick video, I'm gonna to talk to you about a really common cause of ear pressure and pain called eustachian tube dysfunction. So if you're feeling like your ears are always clogged or pressurized or you have muffled hearing, it could be what we call eustachian tube dysfunction. In this video, I'm gonna quickly go over the anatomy as well as some treatment options for how we treat eustachian tube dysfunction. So what is the eustachian tube? Well, there's a tube that connects the middle of your ear to the back of your nose. This is where that tube comes out. That's called the eustachian tube. And you can see it on this image as coming from here. And you can even see it on this model as the tube that goes from the middle of the ear to the back of the nose. So anytime there's swelling inside the nose that could be caused by sinus infections or allergies or anything in general, that swelling can cause swelling in the eustachian tube orifice and this is a small tube. So anytime there's swelling in a small tube, it can swell shut. And when it swells shut, you can have trouble equalizing the pressure between here and the outside world. So how do we treat this as ENTs? Well, there's always three options in medicine. Sometimes patients just wanna make sure they're safe and our job is to do a scope and look in your ears and make sure you're safe and that there's nothing worrisome. And if that's the case, you can observe it. And you're not gonna get hurt if you observe it, but it's important to make sure you check with an ENT to make sure there's nothing else bad or scary going on. If we know it's eustachian tube dysfunction, we can try medications. And so sometimes spraying a topical nasal steroid or salt water into the ear can actually decrease the swelling in the nose and it can make this tube go from being swollen shut to larger and allow the pressure to equalize. So we'll sometimes put patients on Flonase or salt water rinses and things like that. And the third option is we can, if this tube isn't working, we can do things to try to improve it. One of the most common things we do with kids is we'll put what's called an ear tube in here, which is when we make a hole in here. That lets the pressure equalize this way if the tube is clogged. So if the tube is swollen shut, we can have the tube pressurize, the air pressurized this way by making a small hole in your eardrum. In kids, we take you to the operating room and put what's called an ear tube in. In adults, we can actually make a small hole here in the office it takes 20 seconds, it doesn't hurt that much, and we can test out whether it's gonna work. And then the last option is sometimes we will place a small wire through the nose up into the eustachian tube, and that wire goes in here, and then we put a balloon over it, and that balloon expands. This is sort of like what cardiac surgeons do in the heart, and by expanding this tube and stretching it out, it should allow the air to go in and equalize the pressure again. The hope then is you have less pressure, pain, and ear clogging. Anyways, if you'd like to learn more, we'd love to see you as a patient, but hopefully this helps explain some of the ways we can treat eustachian tube dysfunction. Thanks.